Is there something you can share with us, like a story about something that, you know, maybe changing the names or something about like of like your most recent win or maybe the most memorable win that you've had in the past, I'd say, let's say a year, maybe two years? Yeah, I can go back in the last couple of weeks. I mean, the, we, we did a GOMAR rebuttal, which is a general officer memorandum of reprimand that we had a special forces lieutenant out of Bragg get a general officer memorandum of reprimand for, you know, I won't go into what the details of what it was for. He called a couple other attorneys. And the other attorneys told him that you can't win GOMAR, it's called a GOMAR, you can't win a GOMAR, it can't be done, because essentially you are reprimanded by the by the CG, and if it gets permanently filed, you're pretty much done in the military. It'll, it'll stay in your permanent file, then HRC, Human Resources Command, or the CG can require you to show cause to get kicked out. Well, we took on the case, uh, we drafted a hell of a rebuttal, and this was a very lengthy and detailed rebuttal where we went out and interviewed witnesses, uh, and did the investigation that should have been done to begin with. We drafted the rebuttal matters and submitted them. The commanding general reviewed them and not only and just tore up the GOMAR, so he actually rescinded it in its entirety. And so that special forces officer who would have been, had his career done, I mean, he was a, a freaking amazing soldier and he was, you know, I would say falsely accused, but the level of punishment for which they took something to was was well overboard, especially for a young junior officer. And the command general read a rebuttal matters and rescinded the GOMAR in its entirety. I think that happened about a week ago. And so essentially that saved this officer's career. And other lawyers told him it couldn't be done. So that was a, a great win for us. In addition, we just had a full acquittal a couple of weeks ago over in Fort Lee, Virginia, where we had a reservist who was you know, had allegedly committed misconduct while on active duty. I know we did a video previously about can you be court-martialed as a reservist? Well, he was. Um, so this, there was an alleged sexual assault, a male-on-male -male sexual assault, and they brought him back to active duty and took him to a general court-martial. And we took that to a jury trial and had a full acquittal. In that particular case, our client was openly gay. He was married, uh, went out with some went out with uh, some, uh, some buddies, and one of the, the young soldiers uh, who apparently wanted the world to believe he was straight um, was starting to hit on him. And he was hitting him, on him pretty fiercely. And if you looked at this case and he's changed male to female, and you look at this, they were obviously flirting. He, the alleged victim was flirting with our client, uh, buying him drinks, plying him with alcohol, uh, trying to get him to do a threesome, all of these things he was trying to do. And they went back that night and something happened out in the barracks between the two of them. All right. And the fear, and then I think the alleged victim was concerned he got caught because it happened in open bay barracks. And as soon as he thought maybe he was caught and outed, which would really do damage to his own reputation, he reported a uh, sexual assault. Um, and once we started doing the witness interviews and once we put the, all the, put the case together, it was pretty apparent that this was, com, you know, not this is the furthest thing from a sexual assault. Our, our client actually went and took the stand and testified, which doesn't happen that often. We don't call our clients to the witness stand all that often. But in this case, our client took the witness stand and testified um, and the jury came back in just a few hours and, and found him not guilty of all charges and specifications. So that was two wins, really back to back, but at very different levels. One was at a general court martial where our client would probably be in prison um, for a while, and the other one is if he was convicted. The other one was a Gomar, um, where you know we saved this, we saved both of their careers, but from different perspectives.